Glenda Strong is always on the move. You've probably seen her on the hit shows Desperate Housewives or Dallas, but she's also a certified yoga instructor who focuses on helping women lead healthy lives. Now she's taking on a new role to help raise awareness about health challenges women 50 and older experience. Brenda Strong joins us now along with the with NAM certified menopause practitioner, Dr. Michelle Warren, to put a modern spin on menopause and postmenopause. Brenda, bring us up to speed on what you're working on right now. Well, I just finished the third season of Dallas on TNT and recently starred in um, Deborah Messing's new show, uh, The Mysteries of Laura, where I played another Southern Belle. Um, and I've been producing some independent film, which is a new role for me, which has been really fun. But most recently, I've uh, teamed up with Pfizer to help raise awareness around uh, the changes of a woman's life. And we did this short, uh, what I find very humorous, um, video called The Other Talk. And you know, many of us have the talk with our daughters. Well, in this video, I have a conversation with my teenage daughter about becoming a woman. Um, and then, of course, unsuspecting to me, my mother wants me to have the other talk with her. And, and I don't really want to face the fact that I'm aging. And so I'm trying to avoid this other talk. And really, it's a, a humorous way of, of telling women it's okay to speak up and to talk about these things. And um, if they are uh, experiencing any symptoms, that there are uh, options for relief out there, and to kind of dispel some of the the misinformation and myths about menopause. It's a very natural time in a woman's life, and in fact, um, it's a very exciting time, and many of us uh, start whole new chapters of our lives. So I wanted to be the, the voice piece for that and say, um, you know, talk about this if you're not, because it's important. Why do you think people um, don't want to talk about it? Well, I think... Do you think it's just because, of, you know, they think that it's... At at this point, it makes them face reality that they're getting older, or yeah. Yeah, I think that it's, there's other stigmatism to it? Mm -hmm. I think it's an admission that they're aging, and I think a lot of us are aware that, you know, in our culture, it's a very youth-focused culture. But many of us are living well into our 80s now. In fact, a third of our lives are spent post-menopause. And we're living healthier and more active lives as we age. You know, as someone said earlier today, 50 is the new 40. So really, we have a lot to look forward to. And it's really a, an exciting new chapter. So I think many of us are pretending it's not happening. But whether we pretend or not, it's going to happen. So it's important to talk about it. Um, and, you know, we as women, we're always better empowered when we, when we talk together um, to, to share information. And why did you decide to get involved in this particular campaign? Well, um, as you mentioned in the intro, I've had a company called Strong Yoga for Women for um, at least 20 years now. My son's 20. And it really came out of uh, a need to educate women about conception and natural uh, modalities of conception using yoga and managing their stress. And then came yoga for pregnancy. So it's a natural evolution for me personally to go through those phases and now find myself on the, you know, the doorstep of menopause and say, hey, we need to talk about this too. Um, so I was really happy that Pfizer approached me and said, you know, we, we'd like you to talk about this and to do this video, which I think is hysterical. I hope women go to, to youtube.com forward slash let's talk about change because that's where they'll find the video and, and some more helpful information about um, how to share it. That's terrific. Um, Dr. Warren, can you tell us about menopause and postmenopause, and what are the symptoms? Yes, certainly. I, I think uh, many women aren't aware of all the symptoms, and um, menopause is a time when the body stops making estrogen. And when the estrogen levels falls, eventually the periods stop, and that's caused post-menopause. Um, average age is somewhere to between 50 and 51. Um, and uh, some women have few symptoms, others have a lot. And the symptoms include hot flashes, night sweats, mood changes, uh, thinning and drying of the vaginal wall. And um, although the symptoms related to hot flashes and night sweats are fairly well known, those symptoms related to thinning and drying of the vaginal wall, which can lead to a painful sexual intercourse, are not often recognized. 
And uh, it's important for women to know about this uh, because there's treatment available. Mm -hmm. And uh, they need to know that they should talk to their health care practitioner and find out about treatments. Mm -hmm. Now, are there some things that you could recommend um, that women can do to uh, lessen the night sweats and the hot flashes? You know, are there some holistic things that can be done? Well, you know, anything that uh, reduces stress will reduce the, the uh, night, night, night sweats and the hot flashes. So uh, holistically, I mean, exercise yep. is important. Yoga, you know, they're breathing exercises that you can do. But, you know, if you don't find relief with that, um, this is a natural event, but you shouldn't suffer in silence. You need to call, talk to your healthcare practitioner, uh, and don't be afraid to describe in detail what's happening to you. Um, they're FDA-approved treatments. Uh, in addition, uh, it's important to treat, to talk to your partner, because a partner needs to know what's happening um, and uh, understand why you may be avoiding sex and having painful intercourse. So, um, okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was very helpful. Yeah, I think the healthier you are, um, the easier these transitions are. So, um, obviously, um, we're yeah. here to help women feel better. So, um, send them to the, the YouTube site and, and hopefully the conversation can continue.